Hello everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Thea the Awakening. We're now on episode 3. It's been a few days since the last one, um, but I don't have a great deal of time because I spend, I create a lot of content, things like that. Um, so yeah, in today's episode we are going to probably continue on with the tutorial and we might take on these guys. They've only got one skull above their head, so I think we should be able to do it. We've also got um, um, a sort of treasure place there to some ruins to have a look through to see if we can find any any gold and maybe that'll come out in war um, not war but a battle um, very quickly I just want to say that thank you for everybody who has liked and supported this series so far I think we're gonna do it as sort of a, a quick look series I don't think we're gonna do a full playthrough simply because of the time of year I don't have time to start a new playthrough um, at this stage to be brutally honest but we'll keep playing it we'll sort of try and cover the very basics and then we'll see where we are after a few episodes but if you are enjoying and want to see more make sure you do hit the like button let me know in the comments and I'll try and continue it anyway enough of that rambling on um, so I think we are pretty much ready to end our turn here um, after winning our glorious victory against the bisons or whatever it was I know we got some bones I mean, what we could do to start this episode is have a look through the sort of things we gathered from that. Um, so let's have a look in our inventory. So we definitely got some meat, but I think we took some with us. We got the bones, and we got leather, and I think that's it. So should we have a look through and see what these things are useful for? So leather. Leather is a durable and flexible material created by the tanning of animal rawhide, often made into armour and clothing. So if we're looking to make armour and clothing, well, that's going to be useful. And we'll make sure we take that back to the village and make use of that. Bones. Bones remains of living creatures. Well, yep, we did go on a hunt. Can be found scattered around Thea. As off-putting as it may seem, bones can be crafted into many useful items or even construction. So they seem like they've got a lot of uses. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to sort of look uh, more of them in the coming parts. And then meat, a juicy chunk of meat, which is a really weird way of putting it. But meat's meat at the end of the day. Um, so we've got a bit of meat, got bones and leather. We've also currently got five firewood with us. Um, which means we can pretty much keep the ex exhibition going for a few more turns yet. So, talking about that, should we head back to the tutorial or should we have a bit of combat first? You know what, I fancy trying out the combat. Just a bit more. I'm not particularly comfortable with it. I know the basics, but I think if we went through it again, it'd be quite a nice start. Um, so, we'll go over to these guys and we'll see what happens. We'll also need to sort of look at our um, notifications after this, but let's see what we can do. So you approach your enemy and have time to decide your plan of action. So we can have a basic fight with them, it looks like, and I'm very much up for that. Although we could lose people, or we could retreat. Now, we're not retreating. We're going into battle. We're practicing our battle skills we learned from the last episode, and we're really going to try and put them into action again. So if we go into a basic fight... Um, down we go, down we go. I, I will keep returning to the tutorial, and I... Um, encourage you to do the same with your playthroughs because I think it's very very useful and also if you look here we've got sort of materials and production things which should be actually be a good read for me I might read these off camera between this and the next episode so we know what we're doing with our bones and things like that hopefully the tutorial will cover it right so battle I'm sure they're all dead yes card mini games so um, attack type so yep challenge types Right, so basic fight, I thought it was. So basic fights, offense is damage, defense is armor, and then we've got all the other ones. So we're basically looking for our strongest people in this. We're looking for our warriors and more than anything. So let's see how good they are. They didn't have to play too big a role in the last one because it was hunting boars and you don't really need a sword for that apparently. Um, but this time, we're going to be very useful at fighting the undead. So we've got an unliving corpse and two broken skeletons. Very scary. And as you can see, it's come up here on the skills using this challenge tab, that is offense and defense. So we're ready. We're not going to auto-resolve. We're going to jump in, practice our combat a bit more. Right. I don't think this is a great hand because from the first thing I can see, we have Elizabeth, who is our strongest warrior in the offensive hard, hard hand, which is absolutely fantastic. But then Anne and Mary are both gatherers. They do have decent... Well, she's got decent attack, Mary. 21 attack should be decent at this stage. 8 defense. 
We really could have probably done with um, Henry in there because of his 19 defense. But you know what? I think we'll be strong enough. I don't think this will be too difficult. Famous last words, right. And we've also got the poison abilities on with these, so we could try and make use of them. We'll see though. Let's get in and see if we can actually think about actively using the poison ability. So if you remember back to the last episode, we have our offensive hand on our left and our tactical hand on our right. We have a significant numbers advantage here. We have five to three against three. So we should run out comfortable winners. We just need to make sure nobody dies. So the first thing I'm going to do with our one turn we currently have is commit one of our one of them in our offensive hand. Now I think although she's got poison on, I think it might be good to commit Elizabeth first. Get our strongest card out there into play and obviously be able to do the first action. So we're going to do that. Look, we've gone ahead and done that. And now let's see what they come back with. I'm probably not going to go for the tactical hand too much, but it depends what they produce here. Okay, so that has a good defense, but an absolutely crap attack. That is a very good defense now. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth should be able to deal with a lot of that, though. And its defense, its attack, sorry, is not particularly worrying. So it's not going to commit too much damage. I mean, Elizabeth's got a 22 defense. That's only got six. So you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be fine. Now, I want to be very, very careful. I don't want to commit anybody at this stage who I fear could get to pretty much zero health because then have a good chance of dying um i mean mary with the 21 attack could be very useful out there but i worry about the you know what we're gonna send mary in she's got 21 attack she's only got an eight defense which i think will leave her a little bit vulnerable but it's worth it we could also consider actually we could consider using one of these now i'd quite like to try something else out so count if we went with um victoria here counter tactic discard a random card from your opponent's tactics hand discarded cards level we're a level three card but their first card they've played is a level one card so i think we might be able to get rid of one of the cards here or counter offensive would get rid of a random card from the offensive hand i think if we can get rid of a card from the offensive hand you know, it just sort of limits the damage they can do. This battle should be won pretty easy. But I just want to limit them. And if we can take that out right now for the first phase, I think at least, then that would be good. So try counter-offensive. Yes, we have took that out. Good. It is the same as the first card, I think. Um, I can't remember, but right. And then we, are, we have one more turn. I think we'll commit Mary at this stage. I worry about the defense, but we'll have to see. Okay, yeah, let's see what they play now. They should surely play their, yeah. 11 defense, three attack. Okay, and he just used that. They've used that tactically, it looks like, to sort of um, stun us a bit and put get us in later. There's nothing to be worried about here, though. We're going to take this out pretty quick. Um, right, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can go and then you can get closer as well. So we'll just commit our numbers here. It's going to be an absolute pacing for that thing. So we have three cards in play. Um, most of, well, all of them almost, I'd argue, are stronger than that unliving corpse. Um, so we'll be fine. Okay, so Elizabeth is going to do a fair bit of damage to its health, but it's not completed. Ooh. Mary has gone down to a one. That is not good, man good right we have won i'm worrying about mary though as you can see their cards came in on the second bit of the phase of battle i think from the other hand but we'd already dealt with the first card and i think it went quite well right so we have a lot of loot here as you can see it's telling us mary's injured and she's significantly injured as well um i don't know how much we can do about that at this stage but we're gonna have to i mean i'm worried she could die and i don't want to lose any characters this early on um, okay, so your approach, you okay, we've won the battle, and we have won the challenge, so what have we got here? So we have some dark wood, that seems like special wood, um, obviously any wood that's different to the normal one's interesting. So almost black in colour with prickly texture, dark wood should be handled carefully, slightly poisonous. 
Dark wood is seeped with the curse, so harvesting its power to shield yourself is a wise move. Okay. Or it's totally crazy, who knows? So I wonder if we could use that to create um, a shield or something. Which might give us better defense. Um, we'll have to see though, we'll have a look. Bones we know all about, we've got one more of them. And mushrooms. Wild mushrooms are very tasty, but watch out, which ones you pick? Okay, so they're a food or a resource. What I'd have really liked them to drop would have been a potion or something that you can get to heal Mary. Unfortunately, she's not got that. She has currently one health. There's a chance she could die, but we're going to try our best to avert that. Um, from that battle, we've also got one experience point and one sort of science point towards that. So as you can see on the right-hand side, our science and our XP is going up. If your people get wounded during a fight challenge, these wounds persist. And if serious, they may cause death. I mean, we have serious wounds. One wound is recovered each turn as long as the group has food. And we do have plenty of food. To improve healing, set up a camp or go back to the village and make sure you have food and fuel. Medics reduce the chances of death. I don't think we have any medics right now for wounded party members. Although some events allow you to heal. So right now... We know that Mary could feasibly die. Now, my sort of response to that, unless we can get back to... We can get back to the village. I'm tempted just to set up camp. I mean, the only problem right now with setting up camp is that there is nothing worth gathering, in my opinion, around here. And if I was going to set up a camp, that's what I'd be sort of looking to do, um, is gather... But setting up a camp as, I think it's Theodore, um, sort of mentioned there or touched upon, allows your characters to heal more. So if we set up a camp, it might allow Mary to sort of heal quicker, which is be, be important, obviously. Um, so we'll do that. We have a bit of firewood. Um, oh, we can gather wheat. Sorry, I didn't... It's because I don't... Usually on Civilization, I have the... Uh, the um, resource yield icons on so I can see where resources are and things but I forgot so we can gather wheat and we might as well we have some gatherers with us um, that's nice okay so production I'm pretty sure it's on so we can have Vic we can have pretty much everybody gathering wheat here yeah I mean there's no point Mary gather gathering it I mean she can can't she I don't know if that affects her healing I mean if she dies on the job Good on her. She died working. It's something to be proud of. Um, but we are getting more food in there. And I think it also says wheat is a fuel. Yes, yeah, so it's, it is... Oh, wow. We, it's straw, sorry. So we can... We can burn it, but not eat it. I think it did also say crafting. Okay, we can craft basic items with that. So it would be quite nice to gather that. Um, and we might as well be gathering something while we're sort of sat around waiting to heal. Um, we will only find out if Mary dies, sort of, probably in the next turn, over the next turn. She has one of eight health, so I'd say there is a chance she will die. When I lost my character on the last one, they had zero health, um, um, but that, then then they died, which was bad. So we have to be very careful. Hopefully she'll survive, but I do not know. Right, so, village is idle in Columbia. Who's idle? Okay, so it looks like it's Charlie and Georgie who are idle. Um, and they, oh, cool. Tresbor, I forgot about him. He kind of came of age, didn't he, at the, in the last episode. We'll keep him in the, in the village for now. Okay, so we might as well craft. I think we're going to carry on crafting these cooked meals. I think they are quite good. Um, so, we'll, yeah, two wood will be fine. And then... Vegetable, okay, vegetable, meat, good. Yep, so we're going to continue making some big ass. I think it just sort of extends the food, um, which is nice, spreads the food further, which we cannot complain about, and we need as much food as possible in case we choose to go into a lengthy expedition. Okay, and as you can see there, the sort of straw is on the bottom there as well, so we can burn straw. Okay. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Confirm that. And we will put... Um, yeah, we'll put Charlie on that. 
I mean, we could craft, really. I'd quite like to make some basic gathering tools. Oh, look, we're going to get... Um, we're going to get some... We could use our wicker, but we don't really have access to it. We are going to get some straw, though, aren't we, from what we've gathered. So we could use that as our base material. We've got some more leather. And we can sort of see what we can make there. So I think when the expedition gets back with the straw and the leather, we'll see what we can do. Um, right now... We might repeat this task, because we're not really doing anything else. No. Um, task options, there we go. Um, so just do it a few times, you know. You, you are doing it, yes, okay. Um, and we'll also put Georgie on there, just to help speed it up a bit. Good, good, good. Okay, so everybody should be doing something at least. Production complete, yeah, my big ass, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and we are getting some wood and vegetables. Very nice. So everything seems fine. Now, this is the big test, though, isn't it? Does does she die? Um, I'm hoping not. Please don't die. Please don't die. Doesn't seem to have been any death. Okay, villagers idle in the expedition. We knew about that, but that's fine. Um, nobody's died, at least, which is good. I think Mary should have three health, right? Now, because we were in a camp. Does that work? She has five health, so she's healed even more. She's healed quite a bit, so I'm not so worried about her dying anymore. Phew. This is when she goes and dies on me, isn't it? Um, so we have villagers idling in Colombia as well. Okay, a new guy's idle, but you know, you just go and gather wood then. Do what you want. Nobody cares. Okay, so they're fine doing that. I'll put him to work. He can do something at least. Okay, so village is idle, production complete, resource, that's completely fine. I don't think there's much point leaving them in the ca- oh, I'd quite like some more straw. I might leave them there one more turn and then everyone should have healed, really. We have some. Okay, we'll wait for one more turn and then... Turn six and it's getting dark! Uh, and you know what happens when it gets dark? Animal, well, the beasts of the world get more aggressive. Which is a bad thing. Village is idle. Where? Okay, you've been... Yeah, I keep falling for that. I know you're idle. We could have really just put you on there, but couldn't we? For a little bit of extra, extra gathering. Um, village is idle. Village is little blue, But everybody's idle. Um, same crap. Right. Time to move. How much wheat have we got? Um, well, first of all, has Mary healed? Eight of nine, that'll do. Um, and we have got 21 wheat, which is nice. Um, so that's completely fine, right. So let's move out. We're going to go and continue the tutorial now. Um, Theodore's tutorial. What have you got in store for us now, Theodore? And this is completely new to me, by the way. I've not played pretty much beyond this point at all, really. Theodore welcomes you. Thank well, you. Well, hello there. I see you're finding your feet and making first steps into the oh, world. Oh, no, I have played beyond well this. Well done. Okay, we have the bones, which is a weird sentence. Wonderful. Yeah, well he's given us some food. And keep your resources. They may come in handy on a rainy day, you know. As Fantastic. you saw, you got both experience points and research points, on top of any material rewards. All of these will help you grow stronger. Okay, so we have, yep, yeah, research points, um, experience points, everything, and everyone is growing stronger. I've realised I have played actually probably considerably past this. Um, oh, okay, so we gain experience and research by doing such tasks, and we can get rewards. So what now? So... You've discovered that some events will let you solve a situation yes. through more than combat. Correct. These non-combat challenges are often just as hard, but it means that fighting is not the only way. Remember, wounds from combat challenges can kill your people even after the fight. So choosing a different path is often safer, and having a medic in your party will help decrease the chances of dying as well. Anyway, great job on the boars. Yeah, honestly. Should have seen it. It was crazy stuff, Theodore. Um, right, so thanks, but the challenge was still very confusing. I think we went through the basics of, of that, and that's something we'll get with practice. Um, and obviously we proved we're now pros at it, because we took out them skeletons. 
Um, thanks, I think I'm getting the hang of things. Practice makes perfect, exactly. you know. Exactly. So now that the bores are done for, let's practice one more challenge type. Social Ooh. encounters. I spotted a fellow demon called Hurlick, and I want you to convince him to give you some gold. When you have it, bring it back here. Okie dokie. Okay, go and talk to Hurlick and get him to give us some gold for you. Got it. I'm not really sure why that favours us. I feel like he's using us, but oh well. So we've got one experience point. We now have six of... T okay, that's him. This is Hurlick over here. You know, the guy that for some reason owns a bear. And it's a very big bear. Not that we, I think all bears are pretty big, but that looks like a big bear. Now, I'm a bit torn here because I do want to follow the tutorial, but I also want to go over here. Now, if we're going to go over and do the tutorial, there's some other things we sort of need to cover because this is not a basic fight challenge. This is one of the different types of challenges. So, if we open up the help menu and go on to available topics, blah, 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 show all topics, and we go back down to... We want to look again at um, card minigame challenge types and skills. So this, I think, and I'm pretty sure from memory, is a diplomacy challenge. Now, we're going to need characteristics we don't really have in the party with this because we're going to need speech and will. So that speech is the offense, will is the defense or defense if you're from England like me. Why did I say defense? I am not American, right? I'm not American. Obviously, that's pretty obvious, right? So... What we're going to need for that, if you look at who has good um, offense and, and defense, or defense, it's these people here. So it's Charlie and Georgie, the sort of crafters. So they should have good speech. She has a speech of 9 and a will of 15. So that's a half decent in attack and a pretty good defense. Um, and Georgie has a speech of 8 and will of 15. Well, they're not, they're not great talkers, are they? I think we've had, I'm sure I had better talkers last time. But as you can see, nobody else's speech skill is really sort of up there. Um, should we check our expedition? I mean, I think it's a long shot. I doubt anyone's going to be very good at talking. Yeah, your speech is only six. Your speech is a mild three, but you usually talk in violence. Um, three for you. Four. Yeah. So if we're going to go on and take that um, challenge on in the tutorial, we're going to have to go back there first. I think we're going to go and try these ruins. We're going to see what we get. If we get some a really big scary enemy, we might run away. But I don't see why we shouldn't. Let's go and try that out and then... I mean, it'll be good for XP as well. Uh, oh god, this could go horribly wrong. There could be some real git of an enemy hiding behind a door or something, but we'll you chance it. across some ruins of an old city, engulfed in mist and mystery. Okay, so it's saying we've got two options. We can either search it or nah, maybe later. I will search it. There's only one skull, which to me suggests it won't be too difficult. Oh, that's the famous last words. This is just going to go to crap now. You search the buildings Ooh. and discover a supplies store still intact. Aha, these look good. What are these then? So this is um, quartz. So quartz. Um, so quartz, abundant mineral, very hard. One used for decorative carvings. Now valued for durability. Comes in many colours. It is a resource. Um, I'm not sure what it does, but we'll have to figure that out. Please, if you do know any of the answers to my questions, let me know. Um, grain is a food. Um, I don't think we have too much grain, but that's good. And this, so malachite, malachite. Okay, whatever. So green gemstone. Gems give a random skill bonus upon crafting weapons and armor. Very nice. The rarity of the gem improves the strength of the bonus. Um, how rare is it? I don't really know how rare it is. I have not seen it before, so I'm imagining it's quite rare. Um, but obviously we'll have to see it as we go on. Yeah, take the loot and run away. And we've got two experience points and one research point for that. So we must be close to leveling up. We are. Oh, we could, I mean, we could push our luck here and go over there, near the spider's nest, but I think that might be for another day. For the rest of today's episode, I think we're going to go over back to the city, drop off what we got, and then we'll think about continuing the tutorial. We're only two points off, um, we need to end the turn. We're only two points off, um, leveling up though, and everybody will level up with that. Okay, so the turn has ended. First thing we're going to do is head back here. Uh, we'll not be able to reach them this turn, it doesn't look like. Um, but that's fine. 
we'll just sort our expedition out, actually. Um, okay, so let's actually merge you with the city. Yeah, because then we can sort it out after that. Um, and have a look. Now, I think this might be a pretty decent point to end because I sort of want to have a look at... Where are we? Yeah, I want to have a look at what all our new resources do in a bit more detail and have a quick look at crafting. And because then at the start of the next episode, I can sort of come back with a better insight on crafting. Now, I just want to say that I am going to keep uploading this as regular as possible because I am actually enjoying the game, which is obviously a massive part of it. If I wasn't enjoying it, I'd probably stop it now because I don't think um, the views are doing too well. But obviously, I'm more than happy to change my mind. But because I'm enjoying it, I'm going to upload it when I have time to record it. So I will upload it a couple of times a week. And if it does obviously pick up a bit and people want to see it, then I'll record it more. But it's just kind of what people want to see. We have another child. I don't know where that came from. Um, I hope nobody's just sort of, you know, took him. I hope. Where did the child come from? Do I even want to know? Right. But anyway, for the next episode, um, which I'm hoping to record quite soon, because I can't wait to get back on with this, really. Um, we are going to focus up first on crafting, then we'll continue the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please do remember to hit that like button, share this with a friend if you want to see more, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know what you think of the game as well. I'm really enjoying it, actually. I think it's quite complex but nice. Um, and, um, yeah, let me know what you think to the videos, the game, everything, and I'll see you in another video soon.